Hey guys, this is Eric Meek from uh, FinalCutStudioSchool.com or my YouTube channel, Final Cut Studio School, and I'm here to show you how to remove blemishes in motion. You can do it in color, but if you got color, you have motion, so use motion. So I'm bringing a clip of myself. I have a blemish on my cheek, birthmark. You can see right here. We're going to remove it. So we need to go up here, select our circle, and then we want to draw a circle over and around our blemish like so yours will probably be white not blue now that you have a circle over top of the blemish you could have more than one go over to your inspector select the shapes tab and under the style subcategory select your color swatch and select the magnet and select the magnifying glass and this will allow you to take a sample color so take a sample color of whatever you want your little dot to be I want it to be the color of my skin so I'm gonna take a sample color of my skin close to the blemish and BAM as you can see this turns my little circle into my flesh color but if you look you can still see there's kind of a hard edge it's hard to see but it's there so what we want to do is select your circle add filter blur defocus and this will blur out the edges of your circle so now as you can see it looks pretty good our blemish is pretty convincing now what do we want to do we want to track it to our blemish so select your circle in the layers tab go up to add behavior motion tracking analyze or match move add filter or add behavior I'm sorry motion tracking match move and this will throw up a little yellow crosshair in the canvas and what you want to do is click on that crosshair and match it over top of whatever you want your blemish to be you want to track it to that blemish then you put the little crosshair over that blemish like that so and you can also go over here and track rotation if you have your subject that you're tracking is rotating around instead of just ba being basically stationary. So now that we have our little crosshair set, I'm going to go up here and hit Analyze. And it's going to start analyzing my clip. Mine will go pretty fast. As you can see, we're getting a pretty good motion track here. And there. Now when I deselect everything, play it back, you can see that the blemish is gone. It's tracked to my face even though the camera is shaken. No problem. So that is how you easily and quickly remove blemishes from a subject. I do hope you've learned something. I'm going to be going over Steadicam in, uh, next as a short little tip that somebody's asked me about. But I want you to keep an eye out for my Final Cut Pro series coming. I'm going to go completely from beginning to end starting with user preferences. So. It's going to be several parts, so just uh, keep an eye out for those. And um, if y'all have any questions, you know how to get a hold of me. And we'll see you next time.